Hi, I'm Justin Conway. Today I'm going to tell you basically how to give Photoshop more RAM in a sense. We're going to free up free used RAM in your computer so that uh, Photoshop can, can then use it uh, to run more efficiently. When you're um, creating a Photoshop document, editing photos, things like that, you tend to create lots of different layers and uh, comes it becomes sort of uh, RAM intensive and, and starts sucking up energy. We need to give it more. So I'm going to show you how to, how to do that in some simple steps. So let's take the picture that I have here. Um, picture of me, I created a little graphic there. It's very basic. I just want to walk through a couple of steps that you would do um, uh, to sort of simplify things and uh, make, make your RAM uh, run more efficiently. So if we have lots of layers that don't necessarily need to be separate layers, you want to combine them. First easy step. Um, is just you, you select the layer, hold down shift, select another layer, and uh, combine them. Uh, Command E will combine them. Um, another thing is if you have shapes, random shapes that are still not rasterized, you want to rasterize those shapes. So I have this star here. Um, or another way to do that is to merge down um, into a different um, into a different layer. But let's rasterize this layer. Now it's still its own, but it's it's much less uh, sort of big. It's it's much less of a um, a uh, RAM hog now. So um, and if we take other files that let's say have some um, let's say they have some effects on them, like the shadow, right? If we have a shadow effect, you want to try and get rid of all the effects and just merge them down into actual images. So if you had lots of layers that had effects like this one now has on it, you would want to select that and uh, go to right click and do merge down into a different um, layer that, um, so now that it would combine the images, the graphic is still there, the effect is still there, but it no longer is an effect that's uh, sort of intensive, holding all the information that doesn't need to be in there, uh, which is all the other things other than the graphic itself. Um, other things that you can do, uh, very important, most important, I would say, in the whole process is close out other programs. You have Excel open, shut it down. PowerPoint, shut it down. Just close out all of your other programs. If you want Photoshop to run efficiently, only have Photoshop open. Um, and uh, so those are the basic steps to um, sort of, you know, freeing up the RAM that you could have using for Photoshop by closing out other things and making Photoshop more efficient. My name is Justin Conway and I hope that helped. Thanks.